Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve right here. And today we're talking about your pictures. Mm -hmm. And if Steve looks weird today. I yeah, buzzed it, I buzzed it. it. Well, I guess you guys don't see him too often because he's mostly behind the camera, but every once in a while. It's true. When he pops his head out here, he's usually like a mountain man of, <laughs> of some kind. Welcome to episode 37 of Photo Submissions. We want to see your helmets. So email them to pics at greengridiron.com. We've been getting better and better photos and more like unique stuff. Yeah. So thank you for that. Keep them coming. Sure. Yeah, sure. it's cool. Jay's yeah. going to give you a score on the helmets. And I'm gonna see if I can give you some advice on how to make your photos look maybe just a little bit better. Yeah, P-I-C-S at greengridiron.com. That's where you send them. That's it. Let's you, get into this here. Let's go. First up, Jacob. All right, Jacob. What do you call that? Dutch? That's Dutch. Proper Dutch. I I don't think I care for the Dutch, but no. I'm, on, I'm not that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at Dutch the Dutch is that angle. Yeah. Right out of the gate, here's what I like. We've got pretty much two colors. Yep. Right? It's You've true. got the black and the yellow. You got a little white sprinkled in there and that's fine. So I like that you've got rabbit ears on the chin straps and you've got an under armor visor thrown in there. All pretty basic stuff, but I appreciate the little upgrades. And Steve, we got an American flag. American flag, my favorite legal somewhat big grill face mask I like. Yep. Got the SF 2BDC TX which is about as uh, aggressive, I guess, as you can get mm -hmm. if you have a Speedflex helmet, so that's nice. we got a matching um, mouth protector, black, uh, uh, black chin strap. Uh, we got the old ratchet system, and you can tell that that, you know, that plastic is aged. It's almost as yellow as those decals, man. That's remember, what happens. I remember when I used to wear my old Jordans that, that had the, the clear bottoms, and yeah, they would start yeah. to yellow. It used to drive me nuts. It's terrible. It's, it's terrible. terrible. It is. But it's, it's not your it's fault. That's okay. Yeah. Good um, stuff. Yeah. Leave your comments below. What is my favorite pair of Jordans? Oh, man. Yeah. Yes. Good question. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. There's, it's a tie for first between two different ones. Is that a hint? Well, to them out there. <laughs> Answer coming next week. Yeah. So what, do you, what are you thinking? What are you giving? Uh, I'm going to go with a 6.8 to start it off. All right. Next up, Harrison. And now I'm a fan of when people send photos of themselves wearing the helmets. That's not Harrison wearing the helmet. <laughs> I'll tell you that you right sure? Now. I'm fairly certain <laughs> that it's not Harrison. Next time, make sure it's you. <laughs> so he went for the look. He, you know, it's close. He doesn't have the stoppers on there and all that good stuff. But I like his better than the, than I don't know who that is wearing it. Who yeah, I, I I don't know his name off the top of my head either. But uh, he's yeah, he's done a great job. So <laughs> yeah, on the helmet, he went with black Adidas decals instead of the red. I'm going to talk about the things about the helmet that I like. Okay, I like um, that. And before I even saw the the helmet, uh, uh, the, the photo of uh, the quarterback wearing the helmet, I instantly could tell we got 3D bumpers on the back, we got an American flag, we've got a red warning label, we've got red chin straps, and he's got the stoppers in there. That's a nice touch. This has been upgraded as well to a sports star chin strap, which is all custom because you've got red on red on red. He knows somebody somewhere where he was able to contact possibly somebody at Sports Star that he knows, um, because those aren't those aren't for sale. Definitely not for sale. You yeah. know what I found interesting? Um, I like the fact that he sent in the photo of somebody wearing a helmet to show that hey, this is what I was going for. He used the speed um, chin strap locks. The strap locks yes. instead of the speed flex. I mean, you can use them. It's just that that one actually leaves a little bit of the hole. It does. And I, I would say I kind of like that he did that because they're white. And he wanted white. And the only way to get white speed flex uh, strap locks mm -hmm. is to paint them. Nice stuff. Really, really good. Yeah, overall, job. really good job. I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go 8.8. .8. Mm -hmm. yeah. just, just a really, really nice job all the way around. It's super good. clean. Looks yep. looks fantastic. Yep. Love it. Next up, Stu. I know that this dude has sent in pictures before, and I also remember the other ones he sent a while back were very good. So here's the problem with Stu. What's that? He's a Blue Jays fan. No, <laughs> I jest. I jest. <laughs> we're not going to hold that against you. Um, overall, this is pretty cool. This is on a Shut XP shell. Uh, we've got a red chin strap that kind of goes with the whole look. I don't... Yeah. I, I would not have done this, but I don't hate this at all. 
I'm with you. I wouldn't have done this either, but I'm not mad at it. I actually like that Adam's chin strap, which I don't know. I don't think I've ever said those words before. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks pretty good. I don't yeah. like the fact that it says Adam's on it, but I, you know, but I don't think that those ones come unbranded unless you place a big order and it's right. probably the NFL teams doing that. I would have liked to see uh, some kind of 3D bumper on here. Um, on the front, even if it was just a decal, would be nice. I'm assuming there's not one in the back. I'll tell you, when I look at the stripe on the top, I'm wondering if those stripes are painted. It's Overall, really nice. there's a lot to like about this. Obviously, you got the Shock 1.0 visor in here, which, you know, that that takes it to, that will help any helmet go up a notch. And this is your kind of shallow, this is, man. And this is a real photo, right? This is like, real camera. This is like what, maybe 2.0, sure. 1.6 aperture f-stop. This is for you. That's your speed. I like it. Good so, good work. So I'm going to give, uh, gosh, this is this is another really good high score. I'm going to go with a 9.1. Damn, nice. It just looks super clean. Great it paint is. job. The photos are just, yeah. it's just spot on. Yeah. You know that. Next up, Tommy. Oh, Tommy, you getting the sunset in there? Look at that. Nice color. I'm assuming it's a set. Uh, yeah, I would certainly think so. What's Dark. On, what's going on in here? It's the phone on portrait mode. It doesn't know what to do with yeah. all that stuff. It's I don't know what to do with it either. In between the face mask, it does weird things, but yeah. So old Miss Helmet. Mm -hmm. We've got chrome decals. Really like everything that's going on on the back of the helmet with all the pieces. I don't know what those red, what the red... Bars? Bars are. Some sort of an award decal? It has to be. Leave a comment below. What are those? I'm, I know most of you know, and I just wasn't paying attention for some reason. You know what's my favorite part of the back? The white on white warning label. It's like it's I there. I barely saw that. Exactly. I like that too. That's you just nice. have to have it. Because you got to have one. You should have it, and that's the way to do it. It's there. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. I do like that. So what we don't have, what what could, what could make this better? Um, I think I think one of the newer chin straps. Other than that, it's pretty legit. Very legit. Possibly a painted strap lock to match the helmet. Uh, I, I'm going to do another high score here. I'm going to go with an 8.7. I tell you, good stuff today. Good job, man. Thanks. Yeah. Next up. Jim. Another one. This is looks fantastic. Right oh, yeah. out of the gate. Jeez. So in pure Raider fashion, Jim has gone over the top with just about everything he could think of. So we got the Raiders <laughs> logo on the visor. We've got a black and silver warning label. Which is freaking looks awesome. Looks great. All the labels, everything on the back. Huge in numbers. The black and silver, black and white. Uh, the Raiders 3D bumper on the back. You know, the commitment to excellence on the stripe, I, that's I, nice. Excellent. Let's, let's see the front of this guy again. And it, yeah, and it, and it stops at the perfect, the I perfect know. place. So good. Here's what, uh, here's where Jim did not let his psychosis control the situation. Chin strap. The, the, the face mask. Oh, the face mask, yeah. It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a used face mask. So we could have done, we, you know, we can, we can help with that. Send us the mask, we'll make it look uh, brand new again. I would say the the decals on the side. This this is you know I, I would turn them a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, that's just me. But what's really nice about the way that he put them on there, it's not covering up any of the vent holes. But yeah, right. You're, you're right. And that's a thing. That's a serious thing to think about because if you turn that just a little bit, you're going to be covering up one of those front holes. Yeah. So Some a, people hate and that. There's a, you know, when you're applying decals, there's always those trade offs. And I think that this is a perfectly fine one. There's no chin strap on here. Obviously, you could go with a black or a white chin strap on this. Um, get away with either one, just fine. I love that room he's got. A bunch of helmets. Is that a Giants helmet? It something? is, yeah. Back left, Giants Sneaker. helmet. I'm going to yeah. go with another high score. I mentioned a couple of little details that could be better. I'm going to go with a 9.0. <laughs> yeah, these are great today. Yeah, I, Thanks. I, can't, I can't say anything bad about them. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Jim. Next up, John. Oh, another one. Oh, yeah? I mean, this dude, you know, it, it, the, the front shot, he was showing some autographs up there. I, you know, he wanted to show that he had a mini, too. But to me... I, that, you know, Steve, I thought about you when 
you know, I, I know you're as a Giants fan. You, 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 there's no love for anything Cowboys. Not really, right? No. But no. did you see the Hall of Fame announcement with uh, yes. Jimmy Johnson? Terry, or uh, yeah, that was amazing. It was so good. He was brought immediately to tears. Yeah. yeah when yeah. he, when, when I don't know the guy's name that kind of gave the announcement. Yeah. Like I think he knew something was up right away, and it was all he could do to hold it back. Yeah. But, that was pretty cool, and I, it was I don't really cool. have any love for the Cowboys, as you know. I like the Cowboys when they're playing the Eagles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. that's that's something. But back to the helmet here. So, this is a chromed out Cowboys helmet. We got a soft cup chin strap on here. We got a gray face mask on here. I think it's gray. It might be. Oh, silver. it's silver. Yeah, 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 it's silver. Um, I think that this. I know a few years ago, Riddell came out with yes. a chrome series. This could have been the one from the Chrome series. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Even even if it wasn't, still looks it's great. Cool. And I think that it especially looks great in oh, the stadium. It's a Victor. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So he made this himself. Damn. Yeah. Nice as a, chrome. And as a Victor, it means you had to have had this chromed and yeah. had the face mask on. Wondering why you didn't get the face mask chromed at the same time as the helmet, but I think the silver looks great in this situation. It's good, man. That is one hell of a way to take a photo. The star, the flames in the back. Yeah. I appreciate the effort that went into taking this. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 8.7. Yeah, this is this is a good week. Guys. Yep. Considering how I, a lot of my scores are usually in the Six. sixes. Thanks, man. We've never, I've never had a run of such high scores. Next up, Terry. All right, well, Terry, this is all for you, Steve. Yes. Look, this at, that, look at that grass. Look at that lawn. That is nice lawn, man. Look at the mountains in the background. Yeah. What do you think this is? California? S-H. Look at that face mask. It's yeah, due. The, the face mask is pretty gnarly. Yeah. You got a Nike visor on here. Um, can't really tell what type of chin strap. I'm going to assume it's just a Riddell, probably a hard cup. And I don't know. To me, I think I think this the story here from Terry is more about getting the helmet outdoors and just taking a cool picture. The helmet almost perfectly matches the color of the sky. It's cool seeing it outside. I like the design, the pattern in the uh, decals. The it almost looks like a fancy dinner plate. I'm thinking Poly <laughs> Polynesian, possibly. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. That design. And that blue visor is yeah, really cool. I think it all goes together. Good it, pictures. It, it's, it's the, the, I can't stop looking at the gnarled up face mm -hmm. mask in this situation. Um, but I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a 7.1. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's the story that's, that's yeah. helping it out. Great pictures too. Next up. All right, Alex. Alex, you got big shoes to fill, man. <laughs> the fighting engineers. Isn't that interesting? You got some cool things that I like on here. So oh. right out of the gate, this is in the equipment room or in a an equipment room or a locker room. We've got the 150 logo on the back of the helmet there and the SG look, looks like some roses. So the fight in engineers, I think I think this is a school up in Indiana somewhere, right? Ohio? It sounds familiar because of the roses. Yeah, like I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it looked like they're the elephants or the fighting elephants, but maybe there's a elephant engineer have something yeah, that goes together. Um, so it looks like the, the, I mean, this has got to be at the end of the season. So this is, um, we got an Oakley prism visor in here. This is a clear prism. Uh, face mask is pretty beat up. Those Under Armour clips are pretty beat up. This is a used helmet for sure, but look at how nice the paint job on the helmet looks. Paint job's awesome. I'm liking that color a lot. It's kind of that um, muted, I don't know how to describe it. You start seeing more of that color around. It's though. it's a gloss. Yeah. I would call it, it's, uh, it's not quite anthracite. Today, I have so. to grade this as a small college yeah. team helmet. I'm going with Steve, 8.2. Wow, that's nice. That's high. That's good. I like it. It's, it's, there's a lot of little things going on. I like there. it too. I like it too. Yeah, yeah. And I like that it's in the equipment room. That that does me, that carries it's part some of the weight. Story. That's it, man. All right. Next up is Brendan. Brendan's got another, what appears to be a pretty nice job. 
Yeah. You know, he wrote in something I remember seeing like, yeah, I know it's a discontinued, like a Rawlings or something, so forgive the helmet, but I think it looks good. Yeah, it is a Rawlings, but here's what's really nice on this thing. Look at the decal. It's <laughs> huge and flat. It's it's been put it's been applied perfectly. Perfect. Good job. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't usually with decals that are this large, it's it's really it's really hard, practically impossible sometimes to get them to lay down flat where it doesn't start to buckle up in, in spots. Nailed uh, that face mask too. We got 3D bumpers. He used a 3D bumper on the back that's not designed for this helmet, I right. don't think. I mean, it looks like he, he kind of cut it out to kind of make it fit. I think that's fine. Sure. Um, I don't think, I don't know if the Buccaneers use 3D bumpers or not. So I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head, but we got the... The NFL 100 logo on the back there. We've got an American flag back there. We've got the warning label, black on clear. Uh, got the nickel face mask. Got the chrome Under Armour clip. We've got an Under Armour uh, visor. We've got a chin strap delete. Yeah. This, I feel like, should have a chin strap. Yeah, yeah. Where's but the, where's he the doesn't want to cover any of that, you know, just get, well, a, not two, only, not get only, a simple two-point. Yeah, you could do... You could do where you have both of them hooked up on the bottom in yeah. this particular case. Looks a little weird, I think. It does. I don't know how we got that decal so perfect. Yeah, maybe I'll have to take some lessons go back to school. Dude. Go back to decal school. <laughs> uh, another high score, I'm going to go with uh, 8.5. Yeah. I right, man. I like your scores today. Next up, Larry. Oh, jeez. Larry. Look Larry. Look at this. Look at that decal. Very cool decal. So we, we've got some glitter gold in there. Yeah, that's man. cool. And it kind of all intertwines. And they're layered the back. decals. Like that's a decal over the decal. And they so line up. So this is four different decals. That line up absolutely perfectly in the back. And man, look at that 19 in the back. That's one it's of huge. The, that's one of the nicest. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Awesome. I like nice big numbers in and the it's, back. It's an extra large helmet, so you have a nice lot of real estate to work with. But still, man, that's beautiful. Yeah, so big props for the decal, just kind of applying it so well. You're going to get extra points for that. This looks like it's going on a brand new helmet. I can't tell, but face mask looks pretty new. Mm -hmm. um, don't have many pictures of all of the different angles. That's okay. Steve, this is taken outside, and you're... That looks like by a baseball field or something, right? That's exactly what I was going to say. I wonder if it's like a multi-field park or something with a football field behind him maybe. But, man, it's just great stuff. And I wonder what time of year this was taken because it looks like the trees are in full bloom and everything. Yeah. So Love the, cool. F love the F7 on here. I'm going to go, Steve, with a 8.1. Yeah. 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 Right. Cool decals. I like the way they're applied, too. Feeling it. Next up, ah, last up, Sam. With another F7. I was thinking F7. Mm -hmm. Did he spray this down, or did it just start raining? I can see some drops. I see up. some drops. He did this just for the show, which is even better. This is a brand new F7 because the vent holes are covered. Yeah, so on the 2019 version, no, the 2020 20. versions, those front vent holes are covered up um, due to, let's just say, legal design concerns? issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this guy is ready. Looks like he's ready to go, but hasn't gone yet. I agree. I find it interesting that he either removed that back warning label or didn't show it because he knows how much we hate it. Either way, it might be on the other side. Could work. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like he didn't supply a photo. Just thinking on that side. Like why even bother? Right? Yeah, the driver's side. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good move. Good, good call. Move. Yeah. Overall, F7s are still one of the hot helmets. I still like it. Um, pretty basic decals, but I do like the way he put kind of the awards on there. Yes. And, and I like that they're not all like perfect. He tried to line. He just kind of. Just kind of put them on there. I think there was a lot of thought into the way that they were going on, but he made it look like there. He tried to make it look like there wasn't any thought. He didn't care, but he cared. He cared. Yeah. <laughs> he cared. Come on. Come on. Um, I think we need to put a visor in this guy. I, I, I don't dislike the blue of the, the TPU, but at the same time... They make a black one. They do make a black one. We've got some, I don't know, black on black. I like the black better on the non-black helmets. I'm not mad at the blue, though. No, no, no. 
I'm going to go with a 7.3. Man, you guys really showed up this week. Yeah. Thank you for all of these submissions. Awesome photos. Keep them coming mm -hmm. and tell your friends that you made the show and see if they can beat you and email them. Picks at greengridiron.com. And if you make it on the show, you get a decal for free. And if yeah. you blow us away, you might just win a t-shirt. And there was a lot of really, really, really good ones. There really was. Overall, I was blown away by the whole thing. So good. By how many, so good. How many high scores yep. there were. So um, like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.